Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello, thank you for joining me. It's another podcast on a Star Trek series called Enterprise. So after, well, I guess during Voyager and D Space Nine's run at the end, they decided to do another Star Trek and they said, let's do it before Kirk, which is interesting. I'm a big Trekkie. I was really surprised at the end result of the show and Giving the fact that it started off rocky and I couldn't get into it right away, I think I've come to a conclusion that the opening song sucks. Still does. Still bothers fucking people. I don't know what else to say. The cast, Scott Bakula, Jolene Blaylock, they're great. Most of the cast, the side characters, Really good. The story, to me, really interesting. The first Starship Enterprise NX-01. It's just the beginning when the Vulcans are, uh, you know, they made first contact and uh, Captain Archer, Bakula has a resentment because they held back technology. His father died, didn't get to see it, but he's the captain and and it's them, you know, testing their metal out in space for the first time. Love the premise, love the idea. And in the end, I love the execution. I really like the show. It's a great show, in my opinion. But it's the first time in a while that a Star Trek show was canceled after four seasons. However, this show did a great job of making it not seem that way. So, for instance, if you were to watch Battlestar Galactica, the revamp or the reimagining, it's four seasons, a couple of ancillary things, a web series, some tie-in movie type things. And according to them, it was decided that way. Look, we want, this is our story. We, want to tell, we, want to, we don't want to keep it going. That's not what you hear about Enterprise, though. Although, they did a great job making it seem that way. Like, they wrapped it up well. They had a story to tell. They told it. I don't see the rushed aspect. Of, it's probably there if I nitpicked and went through deep dives on, like, with break down the episodes. Like, did a real, um, you know, episode one, two, three. And going into them, however, this is a show I really enjoy revisiting. Except the fucking opening song. For Christ's sakes, I don't understand them. Fine, you want I don't I, I love music. Um yes, I have my biases, I like what I like, and I can recognize talent, so I don't care if the song is great. Or if it's a fucking bestseller million billions love it. It doesn't fit. It, it never fit from the beginning. It still doesn't fit when I watch it, and I love the show. But this is a pain in the ass to get through in the beginning. It just feels wrong. It Most shows, I talk about this with, uh, I haven't done one yet, but I talk about it at Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It just finished, and I'm going to catch up and do my podcast on it. But it's a show I describe as, you know, I understand it's shaky in the beginning, but stick with it. It becomes one of the best shows on TV. And I could understand and describe the rockiness at the beginning. You know, it's finding its footing Right? You know, it's where it fits in. This show, same thing. It's got its problems, but the fucking opening song just de just detaches me. I don't care if you want to revamp the old songs, find the end song from the show, and then use it or a movie. Like, the Next Generation's theme is from a Star Trek movie. So, like, I, I don't care about that aspect, but this sounds like a it turned on a poppy song from the, you know, the 90s, a country song or some effect. 
and I gotta wait for it to be over to watch my fucking show. So watching it every week just was fucking ridiculous. And I know it's just one thing, but like I tried to describe, if you have a show that's trying to find its footing, it's it's doing something new. It's not the other shows were past the baton. Next Generation, season or two, a rocky road trying to find their footing becomes one of, uh, another great one of the best shows. They pass the baton to Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine passes it to Voyager. Seven seasons each. Great. This show is not past the baton in the sense that it's a uh, hundred years or so, whatever, before Kirk. So they got to have different uniforms. You got to get a new system. They're figuring out the alarms on the ships. The phases are different. They just don't have the equipment. And they're going through their growing stages. And as a show, it's a little rocky. Fine. And the fucking opening song, I just hate it. I don't hate it as a song. It just doesn't work for me. It never does. But looking at it as a whole, I think it's a really good highlight on Star Trek. I find nothing really wrong with what they did. You could look at it as if the first two seasons are... Them trying to find their footing. Then they go for a story arc. A long story arc. So you might have the combination of what the original series. Next Generation. And for the most part. D Space Nine and Voyager did was standalone episodes. Um, testing the ideals of Starfleet. What the problems arise from holding these values. And um, going to space with other civilizations. Uh, the creation of the Prime Directive and things like that. I find it a um, just as good as the other shows, if not short. I think it's got a somewhat of a cult following, I'm going to say, because I just think if you're honest and you look back on it, it's a good show. Opening show, opening sucks, but okay, you're not a sci-fi guy, and it's not your Star Trek, which maybe you want it, it to continue, right? You want the uh, the familiar to be passed on, and I'm a, that's 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 okay. This is you know you're watching the founding of the found the Federation, how it starts, and the tension between them and the Vulcans and the new species, and tying it together. They did a pretty awesome. You spin on the Mirror Universe stuff. They did some really deep stuff. I mean, it it holds true to Star Trek for me. If not, um, if not so familiar to me, right? I mean, I don't mind that. I don't mind you doing something different. I'm okay with it. Getting to Discovery, for fuck's sake. I can't give that the pass this does, and but I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, I think uh, I think season three trailer was just released or a teaser, but I've done my podcast on Discovery, so this was a little different, a little hard to get used to. I had an opening song that was terrible for the show. Sorry, and in the long run. It was one of the shows that I think I had to go back and watch where me and my friends stopped watching. Now, I'm not sure about the time line, but let's say we are watching Buffy every week. We watch Buffy every week, X-Files every week, um, you know, and it was an event. It just started that way. And then it's one of those shows that teetered off where we just, no one kept following it. And I went back and watched it again. And to the end, so enjoyable. I did have this type of thing, and I'll be honest, maybe I'll do a podcast on it. I didn't do animations, but Transformers Beast Wars. So I'll do a little quick thing really on that, just to give you an analogy or so. I'm a big fan of Transformers. I'm born in 1971. Went out, got the fucking toys, TV show, the movie, every thing I can touch that I could find um, all the comic books and TV shows even the up ones up to date to now big fan of Transformers not the movies except for the one with Bumblebee which showed the real Transformers 
Uh, okay, so um, big fan and Beast Wars is on Transformers Beast Wars. I start watching it and it has a good opening scene. And I'm like, fuck this. I'm not watching Transformers as animals. Fuck off. Cut to like two years later. This is the fucking best cartoon made. It's like amazing. It's a show that listened to its fans, you could tell. They tied everything in. By the end of Beast Wars, it's fucking great. It's amazing. You, you're just on the edge of your seat. It's fun. Then they go to um, Beast Machines, which was great, but it was like one or two seasons. But I would not have given it another shot. If I was a different frame of mind, I like to try to give things another try. If I watch the first three episodes of something, that's usually my litmus test. And then I'll go, you know what? Uh, it's not for me. But even with that, I'll go back and watch them again. And, you know, see, is it my mood? Is it the period of my life is being impacted by things out of my control and they're affecting me? And that's just being human. But Star Trek Enterprise just really feels good when you watch it it's got a superb cast in in a sense there are a couple of little things that bother me here and there but in the long run it pays off in the end it worked well fine you got to find your footing the opening will never sit well with me that fucking song and i think it's a bad rap for being only four seasons it's four seasons four seasons done fucking well wrapped up pretty fucking well yeah, would I have wanted to watch more? Without a doubt. Without a doubt, I would definitely have wanted to watch more. And it's not too late. You still got people alive from these shows and movies that are still out there. But that would lead to getting into fucking Discovery and Picard. And there might be highlights of those, but they don't compare. I still don't think they compare. Might look like a fucking movie on TV, but it just doesn't hold the heart of Star Trek for me. So, Star Trek Enterprise is definitely worth watching. Fast forward the fucking song. If it gets to you that much, just go right past it. I do all the time now. But it's rewatchable, fun. It fits into the story pretty well. And I'm happy it's made. I hope everybody's being safe, staying healthy. My best to you and yours.